Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It's a Wednesday. It's the 24th of January. And it is time to share with you about the Mingmen Acupuncture Point. At least what I know about it. Uh, this, of course, is the wisdom and teachings from Master Shah. So I'll be able to share with you some, some very valuable and deep insights. And I hope that they will serve you well today. So thank you for joining. I hope you was able to join earlier in the week, Monday and Tuesday. Had some good information there as well. Last week got a lot of positive reviews on the Thursday live stream, which was the grass is greener on the other side. And uh, I, I have fun doing those kinds of live streams where they're a little non-specific. The teachings are a good culmination of all of the different wisdoms. So thank you for uh, coming and thank you for hitting the share button to let other people know about this live stream. This week has been very busy, um, at least here in Honolulu. We have a visiting master, Master Cecilia, <clears throat> and she brings with her extraordinary calligraphy power. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I did the calligraphy, excuse me, the um, live stream yesterday. If you missed that, make sure you go back and watch it. It was on understanding the importance of Tao calligraphy in your life and how it can positively impact your life. And I went into uh, um, not too deep of an explanation, but certainly one that's understandable as to how calligraphy works, why it works, and how you can apply it to your life. Uh, and again, if you missed it, what I did was I used a Tao calligraphy that was designed to help bring blessings and healing to the spinal column. And there were people who had asked for blessings for their shoulder and other things, and it worked for them as well, even though it was um, created to assist people with spinal column blockages. So a lot of positive results from about a 10 minute practice. So I encourage you to go back to yesterday's live stream and watch that. If you need to run, if you need to go um, take care of other responsibilities, you can't stay the whole time, then please make sure that if you're new, especially to like and subscribe, and you will be notified when I do go live most of the time. You know how Facebook can be sometimes. They're very algorithmic driven. So. They decide who they want to invite to the live stream. I'm going to get up just a second here and turn on this light because it's a little dark in my area. One of the nice things though about a microphone is I can walk away and you can still hear me like I didn't go anywhere. So that should brighten things up just a little bit. <clears throat> and so um, as Facebook goes out to gather some souls, we'll go ahead and prepare. I do want to extend an invitation to you uh, to go to drshaw.com and scroll down the page on the left hand column and you will see the Dao Chong Dao Calligraphy event. Um, there is a free event this evening, uh, and evening in Hawaii anyway, depending on your time, wherever you're at, could be morning. But um, do connect to that. It's a three hour event and there will be some demonstrations on there. So if you'd like to understand, a bit more, quite a bit more, from a much higher perspective about Dao Calligraphy, make sure you go to that live stream. It will help you a lot. Okay, You can find it again in, in drsha.com on the left hand column. Just scroll to the bottom and look for the links there. Let's see who's joined us so far today. So welcome Monica, welcome also to Kathy, Aloha Vanessa, and welcome Steve, Aloha. Uh, welcome also to Linda Ilova, Aloha Zilki. And welcome to Kristen Rojas. Welcome Agot. Welcome also to Larissa and Aloha Erica. Aloha to Susan Birchmore. Welcome also Sharon Dodd and uh, Amy Regina, Ma Regina. And welcome also to Vishnu. Aloha and welcome Craig Beam. Welcome Janice. And welcome Missy Dodd, welcome Dimple, Aloha Lorraine Dolan, and welcome also to Theresa, M.A. Drade, Aloha, and welcome Nina, welcome Shaylee Stone, welcome Nina, and welcome also to Janet Hoffman, and welcome Pat, and welcome also to Brenda Chung, hi, welcome to Ram Swaroop, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining today's live stream. So 
uh, while Facebook gathers a few more people, let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. And let us connect. I will invite in the beings of light. And then we will chant a mantra for those that are new. The mantra that we chant is called Love, Peace, and Harmony. And it is a a mantra that has been translated actually in over 40 languages. And you can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org. Welcome, Anjali. So let us connect. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of divine Tao source, all committees, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascendant masters. Sifu saints, kahunas, beings of light, including beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, Krishna, Ganesha, and more. Beloved Mother Earth, all light side stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, we love you all, honor you all, and I bow down to you all. I ask for your presence today in whatever way is most appropriate to assist each and every one of us to be uh, more aligned to the wisdom and teachings today. Allow us to have a further and deeper understanding of the nature, power, and significance of the Ming Min point. Please borrow my mouth and allow me to serve all those that are watching today. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, we love you, honor you, deeply appreciate you, and we invite you to come to chant with us at this time to offer your unconditional service to all souls in humanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So let us chant to serve. Again, for anybody new, you can make a request. This is a mantra. It is a healing blessing. And you can, uh, Kristen Rojas, thank you, Kristen, has posted the links to download this song, complimentary. There is no copyright. So let us chant together. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so also welcome to the Resiler. Welcome to um, Jennifer, Aloha Don Brown, and Diana. If I missed your name, please forgive me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking on that share button and letting other people know about today's live stream. And welcome also to Aspasia. Aspasia, Aspasia. Not quite sure how to pronounce that. So today, what is the Ming Men point and what is the significance of it in relationship to our soul journey? This is actually a very big answer. Um, because of the training I have, I can, you know, answer it in four or five minutes. But the deeper understanding of the answer is what is most important. The Ming Men point in um, traditional Chinese medicine <clears throat> is referred to as the Ming Men acupuncture point. The Ming Men point is a gateway. It is a portal, if you will, on the human body. It is a sacred and secret energy point on the human body. 
when we have a true and deep understanding of the power and significance of the Ming Men point, we truly grasp the higher teachings that are associated with it. The Ming Men acupuncture point in traditional Chinese medicine can be used for many things. The main philosophies are to balance fire and water energies. So for those that have trouble sleeping, those that have the condition of diabetes, those that have um, heart or uh, heart imbalances, uh, significant emotional sways, <clears throat> these are related to an imbalance in the fire and water nature of the human body. The kidneys are related to the water nature, the heart is related to the fire nature, yin and yang. And the water element, the main aspect of the water element, the kidneys, is literally just in front of the Ming Men acupuncture point. And so if our kidneys are weak, it does impact our Ming Men point. And if our kidneys are strong, it does impact our Ming Men point. And vice versa, if our Ming Men point is strengthened, it positively impacts our kidneys. When the Ming Men, uh, fire and water, are out of balance, we have to ask why. Part of the reason why is because there's blockages where it is located at. So everybody, take one of your fingers, your favorite finger, and touch your belly button. Maybe some of you chose your pinky or your thumb. Maybe that's your favorite finger. <laughs> touch your belly button. Now, draw an invisible line straight to your back. That is where your Mingmen point is. For most of us, it's that dip in the back. So your Mingmen point is, yes, an acupuncture point, but it is so, so much more than that. So welcome to um, Criselda. Aloha, Robin Shades, and aloha, and welcome to Carol uh, Strakadin. <clears throat> the Ming Men point, when in balance, can create balance in our emotions, can create balance in our health and wellness. When it is in balance and activated and open, Aloha Teresa, it can very positively impact our spiritual channels because we have four major spiritual channels. There is the soul language channel, the direct soul communication channel, the third eye channel, and there is the direct knowing channel, all of which initiate start at the Mingmen point. So as you can start to see, the Mingmen point is extraordinarily important to not only our physical health, welcome Samantha, but also to our spiritual awakening and abilities. <clears throat> well, welcome to uh, Divjo and welcome to Eveline. Thank you for joining. Welcome Atena. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing, hitting that share button, nothing that people know about today. So the Ming Men point, again, for those of you that are new, if you touch your finger on your belly button and draw an invisible line straight to the dip in your back, that is the location of the Ming Men point. Now, in Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, the Ming Men point is also referred to as the Tao point. Not Tao or Taoism, not religion, but the Tao point. What does that mean? Well, Tao means source, creator, that which created all things. So if I said to you, where is the Tao point on your body? Where is the source creator point on your body? Most of us would go, oh, I don't know. That was my response. But this is how relevant and important this point is on your body. Showing of hands, happy faces. How many of you have seen the yin yang symbol with the fish and the eyes? 
Many people have seen it. We have that symbol. Some people tattoo it on their bodies, put it on their vehicles, put it on their skateboards because it's cool. But most of us don't really understand the deeper meanings associated with that symbol. And it has an association with the Ming Men point. The, I see lots of happy faces and thumbs up now. So everyone has seen the yin yang symbols. So the yin yang symbol, for those that are unfamiliar, is the circular wheel with the swirly wave right down the middle of it. And it is very often depicted as a fish. Because you see a fish on one side with an eyeball and a fish on the other side. One usually black with a white eyeball. The other fish is usually white with a black eyeball. That's the yin-yang symbol. In the bigger meanings of life, that represents heaven and earth, up and down, hot and cold, male, female. The Tao point is the point through which heaven, Tao, source, creator, communicates to us. The yin-yang symbol, one of those two fish, and it doesn't matter which one, has an eye. Both fish have the eye. One of those eyes is the Tao point, the Ming Men. What do you think the other point is, the other eye? Any idea? I'm going to wait just a little bit longer, give you guys some guessing room. <coughs> Aloha Evelyn. Aloha Christina. Welcome Teresa. Welcome Maria. Shoot. Welcome Johannes. And welcome Edna Steed. Thank you for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button. So the answer is the other point is the heart. So if you superimpose the yin yang symbol on your body, one point of the eye of the fish would be the heart. The other point of the eye of the fish would be your Ming Men point below the heart. <clears throat> Typically it is shown where one fish is above the other. That kind of at an angle. Welcome, Snisana. The Ming Men acupuncture point. <coughs> excuse me. The Ming Men acupuncture point can be activated more. It can be empowered substantially. It can be cleared of blockages with time. But the most important aspect of the Ming Men acupuncture point is that it is called the Tao point, the point at which our Creator and creation brings communication to us at the highest levels. I mentioned a moment ago, for those that are new just stepping in, there are four major spiritual communication channels in the body. The soul language channel, the direct soul communication channel, the third eye channel, and the divine direct knowing channel. The starting point for each of these four major soul communication channels is the Ming Men point. What does that mean? That means the wisdom from the highest sources comes here. Unencumbered wisdom. <clears throat> Welcome Gary Pointer. So how do we work with this Ming Men point? How do we empower it? How can we identify if there's blockages there? In Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, yes, Robin, you can ask questions. If it's not moving too fast, I can usually see him to answer them. If it's uh, the Mingmen acupuncture point, when Master Shah in his books and through the, um, the top teachers, the master teachers like myself, I shouldn't say I'm a top teacher, it's definitely higher than me, but the ones that are considered uh, certified master teachers, that's a better statement, uh, have received authorities 
to offer transmissions. Soul, heart, mind, body transmissions. And these transmissions clear significant blockages almost instantly. And people feel much, much better very quickly. The reason I'm telling you this is because when those transmissions are delivered, although they might be for a certain body part, organ, or system, they are delivered actually to the Ming Men point. When the Ming Men point starts to gather enough light, it forms what's called a Jin Dan. Jin Dan. Aloha, Sharon Dodd, and welcome. Kathy Graff, aloha to Dave Russell, and aloha and welcome to um, Robin Shades, Snizan, I don't know if you heard me when I said hello, and welcome Gary Pointer. <clears throat> In Master Shah's wisdom, we are born with various energy points, built in, ready to go. The Ming Men point needs to form its own jindan, needs to form its own light ball. A fully 100% enlightened being is a being that is fully 100% light. They're no longer third or fourth dimension. They are fifth and above. <clears throat> they can come in and come out of existence wherever they would like. That kind of fully enlightened being is very hard to achieve. How do you make your bones light? Bones are very, very dense. Much easier to make our skin light. You know, people who have very clear diets, their skin becomes very light and pure. <clears throat> Eyes become very clean. Soul enlightenment is soul enlightenment, then mind enlightenment, removing all the mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego attachments, then heart enlightenment, removing all selfishness, being 100% unconditional service to others, then our body has to turn to light. There are four stages to 100% enlightenment. Not an easy task. The beginning is at the Ming Men acupuncture point. Welcome Lisa Prado. Welcome Dan Atkinson. So at the Ming Men acupuncture point, which is located directly behind the belly button, straw straight invisible line straight to that dip in your back, and the Mingmen Matripuncture point is right there for those that came in a little late. So when this acupuncture point is empowered through focused meditative practice, when you receive transmissions, either through Master Shah's books or through, uh, through um, practice, through downloads and treasures that are given to you. Kristen, uh, Kristen Rojas, can you do me a favor? Can you locate the page and the book in which the uh, Ming Men Jindan, Seed Jindan was delivered? It's in the back of one of Master Shah's books. I'm not quite sure which one. I think Soul Song, Soul Dance, um, possibly even the Tao book. Could you please look and let me know if you know for sure. <coughs> um, and welcome Christina Thorson. Welcome to everybody if I missed you. So when we receive any transmissions, instantly what is that? That is a light ball. Come to your body, come to your soul. When they coagulate, when they um, come together, as one, in the Mingman acupuncture point, we are in essence forming a light ball for the Ming Men area. Now Master Shah has written several books on how to reach immortality. When he was asked to do this by Source, he said, well, don't you think maybe I should live past 100 years before I write a book on immortality, Source? Divine Tao, God, whatever you want to call it. You know, I don't think I'm the right person to be writing this book on immortality. Uh, and Heaven said, we give you the wisdom, you write the book, you practice what we tell you. I said, okay. So he wrote Tao 1 and 2. Tao 3 hasn't come out yet. And in there, it speaks of this great wisdom. 
that when you gather the light consistently in this point, it becomes bigger, 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 bigger. A quarter of the size of your body, half the size of the body. When it becomes the full size of your human body, you are no longer of this plane. You can come in and out as you please. You are a very highly evolved being at that point. There are very, very, very few souls in humanity that have that kind of capability. They would be called immortal. And they're not going to tell you who they are. They're going to look just like any other 30 year old <clears throat> and you would have no idea. Even if they told you, you certainly wouldn't believe them. And immortal uh, ideally means you know, forever, never, 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 never. Most of those immortals are somewhere between, you know, 500 and uh, 10,000 years. I've never met one. This is based on all the wisdoms that's out there. So I'm going on faith that that's accurate. Why do we want to do this? Because it is the fastest way to clear our own blockages of our own health issues and awaken our spiritual channels. So Holy Miracles, page 115. Thank you, Kristen. <clears throat> so when we take the time, now that you have the education, to empower the Ming Min acupuncture point, what are you doing? You are balancing your fire and your water nature. You are opening up the portal through which Tao communication occurs, source communication. In my Awakened Spiritual Channels class, which uh, starts February 4, I lead you on a 12-week program that is the predecessor to the four major channels. <clears throat> and in that program, you will have amazing health benefit experiences just you'll feel better and better your emotions will improve there's not a single part of your life that won't get better if you go through the 12 weeks and do the practices and if you want to learn more you can go to my web page uh, it's listed above asohealer.com and just scroll down about three quarters of the way on the first page you'll see it right there our 12 week program Kristen thank you Kristen has also posted it in her chat and why do I tell you that? Because the spiritual journey, the awakening journey, at least in my experience, you certainly don't have to agree, but in my experience, it's important to have uh, a guide. You don't get through first through eighth grade, ninth, tenth, and eleventh grade in college accidentally. You don't get to the other side of college and say, oh, I could have done it all on my own. No. There has to be a teacher educated in that particular modality that can guide you from here to there. There's so many people that believe they're spiritually advanced, but when they attend this course, there is not a week that goes by where there's not you know, 50 aha moments because the wisdom is very high level and it's very condensed and it's very um, enlightening and uplifting. And it, it's very, uh, not only is it the wisdom, half the course is the practice. And so, and then the whole week you have a homework. So just like in a school, at the end of 12 weeks, you feel much more aligned and awakened. Overall, much better. <clears throat> so back to the Ming Men point. I'm going to deliver a blessing to you very shortly from one of Master Shah's books. And I'm gonna read you something from it, so make sure I get it right. I have to grab the book, so give me a moment. Page 115 of Soul Healing Miracles. Welcome, Angela. Welcome, Diana. And let's see. I'm, I was still looking for a question from Robin. I haven't seen a question, Robin. If I missed it, I apologize. Welcome, Chris Haney. And welcome, Jennifer Cress Smith. Okay. So. The initial size of the Ming Min Jindan, Jindan means light ball, 
is about 10%, 10% of the size of a grain of rice. Not very big. It is like a seed. The Ming Min Jindan is highly concentrated, highly concentrated Shen, Qi, and Jing. Welcome, Nicole. Welcome, Deborah. What is Shen, Qi, Jing? You remember the teachings yesterday? Shen, soul, heart, mind. Qi, Tai Qi, Qigong, is energy. Jing is matter. Highly concentrated Shen, Qi, Jing. Shen Qi Jing is the food of the universe. It is what the universe is made out of. So it's highly concentrated universal energies and frequencies in a little spot. Uh, in the Ming Min point of your back. So Devo, you ask how you can use it? Very simply. Open up to the calligraphy pages. Do the soul of the blessings within this calligraphy. Could you please, as appropriate, always say as appropriate, Offer a blessing to my loved one for the condition of da 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 da. And then you trace on their behalf. Make sure you have their permission. Okay. The human being Shen Qi Jing is not enough by itself to form the Ming Min Jindan. This is the first time in history that the source has released this information about the Ming Min Jindan. Ancient spiritual practice has used secret and sacred chants and visualizations that must be practiced at specific times of the day to form the Ming Min Jindan. As I explained earlier, a spirit practitioner could take a long, long time to create even an initial small seed of the Ming Min Jindan. But the traditional way does not create the initial Jindan in the area of the Ming Min acupuncture point. That's very important. The traditional way does not create it in the, in the correct way. In other words, the traditional teachings were off. I am extremely honored to be a servant of the divine and to assist you with a blessing for the Ming Min acupuncture point. So there may be some new people uh, watching today. So I have to give a little preface to this. For those that are new, this is Master Shah. This is his book called Soul Healing Miracles. I recognize it's backward in your screen. Soul Healing Miracles. <clears throat> Master Shah has been delivering literally miracle level blessings for 20 years. Go do your own homework. He's also written over 20 books. And in his books, the purpose of the books is to help us to heal. Not to heal us, to help us to heal. And so what he does is he places transmissions in his books that when we read the bolded parts of those transmissions, we receive these light balls that we're talking about right now. What you are about to receive, if you agree to receive it, because it's always optional, is literally a soul, mind, body transplant of the Ming Min seed of the Ming Min Jindan. It would take the average practitioner Remember, this is condensed, heaven's energies condensed. The average ancient practitioner, the guys that sit in the mountains, they'll sit there at certain times of the day with all of their candles around them and all of their mantras and everything that they're doing, gathering heaven's light into their body. Why? Because they want to reach enlightenment. They want to stop the suffering and leave this world. That's why everybody goes sits in the mountain and does, you know, chants for for. for years on end. They're tired of the suffering. They want to reach full enlightenment. And so the Ming Min acupuncture point is the Tao point. If you can have any seed in this area, it would very likely save you 50, 100 lifetimes of service. This is not a small thing. That's all I can tell you. And there are many souls coming in late uh, with this teaching. I'm so grateful for your presence. Some of this will not make sense to you simply because you missed a very important part of the first amount. So I encourage you at the end of this to please watch the beginning so that you, the back half makes a lot more sense. Okay? Welcome, Holly. So I will, because I'm a certified master teacher, I've been given the authority to deliver from his book to you this transmission. If you're not interested in receiving, just tell heaven. 
uh, not right now. I don't have enough information. I'll go buy the book myself, and if after I become more informed, I want to receive it, great. You can do that. You can also say, no, thank you right now. I'll go back and watch this um, this uh, teaching from the beginning, and once I'm more educated, okay, maybe I'll get it then. You can do that too, okay? So, for those that wish to receive, sit up straight, bring your backs away from the back of the chair. We're going to receive this transmission, and then we're going to practice with it to boost power to the Ming Min area of your body. So welcome Paula Hyatt, welcome also to Kathy, uh, Holly, Barbara, welcome, uh, Deborah Tyndall, thank you all for joining. Again, if you don't want to receive, just say, uh, no thank you heaven, I'm not interested at this time, all right? Close your eyes, bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. Prepare to receive. As appropriate, as a master teacher, certified by Master Shah, deliver this Ming Min Jindan Seed, Soul Mind Body Transplant, transmission, to each of those watching or listening, now and in the future when they watch this video, if they do not wish to receive, then do not offer. Blessing is only as appropriate. Prepare to receive. E source order. Ming Men Jin Don Seed Soul Mind Body Transplants to those that are ready and have agreed to receive as appropriate. E transmission. How, how, how you are all extremely, extremely blessed. So you now have received a permanent soul, mind, body transmission that it takes the average practitioner 100 lifetimes to receive. It is condensed Shen, Qi, and Jing. And it is something you can build on. So now, we're going to do a practice together. For again, for those that came in late, the Ming Men point is, if you touch your belly button, draw an invisible line to the dip in your back, this is where the Ming Men point is located. So we're going to chant a mantra, Ming Men, Shen, Qi, Jing, He, Yi. Shen, Qi, and Jing means soul, heart, mind, body, energy, matter. Ha Yi means becomes one. So what are we doing? We're chanting so that we're gathering. Everything becomes one. Shen, Qi, and Jing is what everything is made up of. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. Everything is made up of that. When we chant becomes one, we are gathering the light. We're going to employ the four powers. So again, remain in your uh, sitting up straight position. <coughs> Ideally, back away from the back of the chair, feet flat on the floor. Place one palm over your lower abdomen with the knuckle in your belly button, nice and relaxed. Place the other palm, if you can reach back there, over the dip in your back so that the center of your palm is over the center of the dip of your back. If you cannot reach back there, that's okay. You can place both palms in your lower abdomen. Keep your mind in your lower back. In your Ming Min point. I want you to visualize, this is the mind power, from 360 degrees, light coming in, coming from Mother Earth, coming from all the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. We've invited countless beings of light to come in today. Many, many Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, archangels, Jesus, they've all come to serve. They are unconditional servants. They will be shining their light on this Ming Min point. So let us connect. Please repeat after me. Dear the soul of my Ming Men Jin Don Seed, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, am extremely grateful to have received you. Could you please continue to gather the light from every direction possible 
from all the beings of light to help me to develop my Mingmen point. I am extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear God, Tao, Source, all of the beings of light, dear Mother Earth and all the countless planets, stars, galaxies and universes of the light side, I love you. So grateful for your presence. Could you please bless me to develop my Mingmen point? I am extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so as we chant, again, visualize the light coming in from 360 degrees. We will chant, Ming Min Shen Qi Jing He Yi forms, F-O-R-M-S, forms, my Ming Min Jin Dan. You'll catch on. Here we go. Ming men shen qi jing he yi forms my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi forms my ming men jin dan. <coughs> ming men shen qi jing he yi forms my ming Men Jin Dan Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi Forms My Ming Men Jin Dan Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi Forms My Ming Men Jin Dan Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi Forms my Ming Men Jin Dan Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi Forms my Ming Men Jin Dan Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi Forms my Ming Men Jin Dan <coughs> Continue to visualize all the light gathering in this sacred point, the Tao point, in the dip of the center of the dip in your back. Opening. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. Now move the palm that's on your lower abdomen up to your heart center. So now you are uh, still focusing on the Ming Men point, but we are receiving and balancing the energies of the fire and the water. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. Continue to chant silently. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. See the light coming in, boosting like a light ball, gathering light, becoming more dense, harder more solid, more dense. Ming men shen qi jing he yi to form my ming men jin dan. 
Ming men shen shi jing her yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ming men shen shi jing her yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ming men shen shi jing her yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ming men shen shi jing her yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Continue silently chanting. Ming men shen shi jing her yi to form my Ming men jin dan. If your arms get tired, you can switch them. One palm over the heart center, the other palm over the Ming Men acupuncture point. Directly back from your belly button, in the dip of your back. Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi To form my Ming Men Jin Dan Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi To form my Ming Men Jin Dan Ming men shen chi jing her yi to form my ming men jin dan. <coughs> ming men shen chi jing her yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen chi jing her yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. If you have space, tap that dip in your back very gently, just gentle tap. Now chant out loud Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. Ming Men Shen Chi Jing He Yi. To form my Ming Men Jin Dan. Ming men shen chi jing her yi to form my ming men jin dan. Ming men shen chi jing her yi to form my ming men jin dan. <coughs> Visualizing the light. A few more minutes. Ming men, 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 Dao point, 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 open 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 Dao point, boost Dao point, boost Dao point, boost Dao point, boost Dao point, boost. Dao point de boost, Dao point boost, Dao point boost, Dao point open Ming men, open Ming men, open Ming men, open Ming, open Ming men, open Ming men. Ming men shen chi jing he yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ming men shen chi jing he yi to form my Ming men jin. Dan. Ming men shen chi jing he yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ming men shen chi jing he yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ming men shen chi jing he yi to form my Ming men jin dan. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Please repeat after me if comfortable. Dear the soul of all my downloads and treasures, please continue to boost power to my Ming Men acupuncture point. Dear my soul, 
please continue to gather light from all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, from all the beings of light that wish to share their light. Please gather in my Ming Min point, develop my Ming Min point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How, how, how. Okay. So please, if you have any sharing, what the experience was for you, some people pay attention. A lot of people came in with some back pain. How is your back pain now? Some people may have come in with headaches. How is it now? Some people may have come in feeling very tired. How are you now? What was your experience through this practice? When we work with the Ming Minaki Winter Point, we, we clear a lot of physical uh, blockages at the physical level. Thank you for stopping by, Paula. Hope you can uh, stop by again and watch it in, in whole. A lot of value. And so when we take the time to practice with our Ming Min Acupuncture Point, we are literally opening our spiritual channels. The Heaven is always communicating with us. We are very thick. In order to receive clear messages, we must clear blockages in the heart center. We must clear blockages in the Ming Min Acupuncture Point. These are the two main points in the human body that are the direct correlation to the highest uh, receiving of the highest clearest quality information from heaven and they are uh, the balancing points of the physical body the heart is the fire element the Ming Min acupuncture point uh, con supports and controls the water element and so when we have that fully open and developed it can assist us to balance the fire and water uh, so, let me read some of the comments. Ford Shauna, welcome Ford. You came in a bit late. I hope you watched from the beginning. We just went through a huge explanation and just finished some practice. Uh, Monica says, so powerful. She had to lay down, warm in her Ming Men point. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And she says she feels so tired now. Well, it, it is, you know, two in the morning where she's at. Uh, but that happens when we... Um, you know, when we're in our deepest states, it's called the hundun, which is an emptiness, where we're just in a complete state of emptiness, no mind, no thought. That's the best place to be in. When we work with the Ming Min Dao Source Point, we are opening to the highest source frequencies. And, of course, uh, that could mean you just want to chill. Larissa said she saw a lot of light saw her light body and a beautiful golden heart wonderful thank you for sharing your third eye uh, welcome julia abbott and aspasia said she felt her body fill with warmth of vibration heat flowing through the veins tears of love thank you thank you thank you and we thank master shaw for bringing us this wisdom um, nina says her legs were also tingling interesting Aspasia says, thank you so much for the info. I'm absolutely pretty easy to read from a book. <laughs> you know, like I said at the beginning, it's very valuable to have a teacher, a teacher that is not interested in anything for self, a teacher that is interested in serving unconditionally. You know, the teachers at the schools, they serve unconditionally. They're educated in math to teach you math. They're educated in business to teach you business. Yes, they get paid for it, but it's their love. Find a good teacher, maybe me, maybe Master Shah, whoever you align with, great. But you need guidance on the spiritual path. Just find one that has no ulterior motive, and then they'll probably serve you quite well. Uh, I'm, I'm working with Master Shah because he's proven to be an unconditional universal servant, a very high-level universal servant that brings extraordinarily high-level wisdom to humanity. And I have, in the past 10 years, grown so much more than if I just did this on my own. So I say this again towards the end. If you'd like to be on a path where it's a, a scheduled trajectory and you actually uh, learn like you're in a classroom, then um, in Kristen Rojas posts and above, you see my website, um, go there, scroll down three quarters of the first page, you'll see my 12 week Awakened Spiritual Channels program. It will serve you so well. Janice warming over her Mingmen point and heart. Uh, Vanessa felt oneness. Uh, Teresa, she was feeling a warm sensation and her eyes was crying. She has 
feelings reduced her pain on her back and no headache anymore. Yeah, why? Because the spinal column, you know, there's a lot of power and energy goes through there. All of the communication in the brain, the spinal cord, lots of blockages in these areas. The, the Mingmen point, remember, is associated with kidney strength. It's associated with our Kundalini area. I tell you, this is not a, 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 a little energy center. This is the most important energy center besides the message center, the heart chakra. So become more informed. You know, join classes like the one Kristen just posted on my behalf. Um, they can serve you so well. Uh, Janet says, pain released with the Ming Min, um, and then tremendous warmth radiating, radiating from the small of her back. And then Kathy Arnold says, wow, she saw the brightest blue lights, then tapping, saw the white light, and then the ball, and then bigger white light. Lots of saliva. Very important. How many of you felt a lot of saliva in the mouth? Okay. Saliva. Heaven is always nourishing us through our crown, through our Ming Men point. Earth is always nourishing us, okay? And this nourishment collects, this is ancient wisdom, collects uh, in two acupuncture points behind the tongue, under the tongue, excuse me. Jin Jin Yu Ye, Tian Yi Jian Shui, Heaven Liquid, Jade Liquid, uh, 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 Jade Liquid, Gold Liquid, excuse me. And... Um, when we build up saliva, especially when we're doing practices like this, consciously swallow it down. Swallow it down to your lower abdomen. It's like refilling an oil lamp. Drop it at a time. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Your oil lamp is directly related to your lifespan. We need to refill our oil lamp with Heaven and Mother Earth's nectar. So whenever you build saliva, consciously swallow it down. Thank you for sharing that, Kathy Arnold. Uh, and Deborah's feeling weightless. Wonderful. Christina Coti very grounded and can feel a, uh, a little field. Uh, Kathy Arnold's stomach hurt at a five. It's completely gone now. Wonderful. And Snezana, thank you, Master Paul, so much for this very important download and blessing of the Ming Men Point. It brought her a sense of relief and relaxation. The amazing light. Uh, that is the point where the I4, I5 is. I'm actually not sure where it's at in terms of the vertebrae. Uh, Dog on in, Master Paul, for unconditional service. Happy, happy, happy to serve you all. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Perfect timing. Good. Wonderful. I'm so happy that those who came in late stayed. I'm so happy that those who came in at the beginning stayed. For all those that didn't quite get it all, it's kind of like coming in in the middle of an algebra test that you pass joyfully, but you don't know what it is you were studying. So do go back to the beginning after this video stops, because it will record in just a little bit, <clears throat> uh, and you will be able to get a lot more out of it. Make sure if you like this that you share it with people you care about. If you're interested in your spiritual journey and you would like a good teacher, I am a good teacher. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you sign up for my course. Again, it's listed in Kristen Rojas posts and up above you go to my homepage. So I look forward to serving you. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the beings of light, divine Tao source. Please respect your return. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.